Home mail delivery. Seniors demand. 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 Home mail delivery. services while pampering the corporate elite. Yeah, it's good to get that support. Now, Joe Oliver, as many of you know, recently voted in Parliament against the New Democratic Party motion to maintain door-to-door -door mail delivery. Seniors and people with mobility challenges strongly oppose being forced to collect their mail at a so-called community mailbox. A community mailbox some distance from home under all weather conditions. And the resulting elimination of 8,000 letter carrier jobs will come as a serious blow to young people. Young people and many others who are seeking decent paying employment in times of great economic stress. Canada Post is not in debt. And it could be even more profitable as a public asset if it provided banking services at postal outlets across the country. But Canada Post and the Tory government are suppressing a study that shows how providing banking and other services is indeed the way forward. To the consternation of the vast majority of Canadians, 
the Tories are stealing workers' pensions while cutting jobs and cutting services. Yay! Now, if this is the best that the Harper Conservatives have to offer, then they must go. Goodbye. And if this is the best that capitalism has to offer, then it too must go. And if Canada Post CEO Deepak Chopra and Prime Minister Stephen Harper cannot run a postal service to meet human needs, then they must go. They should step aside and they should let postal workers show us how it can be done under workers' control. So we're here to tell you, Deepak Chopra and Joe Oliver and Stephen Harper, this fight has just begun. Across the country, you will face a torrent of resistance to the placement of mega box uh, uh, mailboxes in every city and town. And this will, this fight will not stop until your cuts uh, are reversed. And this will not stop until we remove you from a position to implement such cuts. So, we're pleased to be joined today by spokespersons from a number of organizations, and so let's hear from them now. It's with great pleasure that I call upon the president of the Toronto Local of the Canadian Union of Postal Workers, Brother Daryl Ellis. Thank you, sisters and brothers. Thank you so much for coming out today. This is going to be a long fight. This is not a sprint. This is going to be a marathon. Yeah. We are going to keep in their face. We've been in their face before. We'll be in their face again. Mulroney tried this same stunt back in the 80s with the postal workers when they said we were losing money back then, when they said that we were not able to be profitable. We had 17 years of profitable service while still maintaining proper door-to-door. -door. If anything, if anything, we should be expanding door-to-door, -door, not cutting back on door-to-door. -door. It's not just door-to-door -door delivery in, in the large cities. There's also people that live out in the countryside, that live in the suburban areas and out in the rural areas. Some people have to go 5, 10, 20 kilometers or more to go collect their mail. Shame on Harper! Shame! 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 It goes coast to coast. We should be proud that we have door-to-door -door delivery in a country of this size with a population of what we have. If we allow the Canada Post and the federal government to go through with this, we will be the only G7 country that does not have door-to-door -door delivery. Shame on them! Shame! 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 Service Employees Union, Brother Miles Magner. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here, join you to say no to the cuts to public to postal services and no to the privatization of essential public services in Canada. script that we're getting used to from the Tories. The agenda is clear. They want to cut services to the public, 
They want to transfer certain. They want to transfer anything that can generate profits to the private sector. They want to deliver corporate tax cuts to the rich and the big corporations. And who loses? Working people. Working people who depend on services and working people who need good jobs. Hang on. This is something that I think we all know about, whether it's at the federal level, the provincial level, or the municipal level. And it's an agenda that we need to stand in solidarity against and to fight back against. And it's a pleasure to be here with you to see this fight back is continuing against the brutal attack on Canada Post and on a, a, a powerful union that has set the, set the agenda for public sector workers for decades. Right. And so I want to let you know that OPSU members are going to stand in solidarity with CUPW and with all workers who are fighting back against these cuts. Yeah. The key thing to remember here, it's not an accident that they're going after CUPW. The, the, the union that won the right to strike for public sector workers, the right. union that has set the agenda for social unionism for decades, they're coming after CUPW like they're coming after all public sector workers because they recognize that unions are one of the greatest bulwarks to defend quality public services and stop the cuts. And so it's great to see both public sector and private sector unions here standing up for Canada Post to stop the service cuts. And we're going to be side by side with you to make sure that this does not stand. In solidarity. Thank you. Brother Miles Magner, now we're going to call on a uh, leader, a local leader of Unite here, Local 75. She's a shop steward at the uh, U of T St. George campus, Sister Valerie Gaynor. Are you here? Where are you, Sister? She was here. Maybe she went to get a coffee. Okay, when she returns, you will hear from Sister Valerie Gaynor. In the meantime, um, Sharon, do you want to say a word from uh, Put Food in the Budget? There she is. Okay. Welcome Sharon Anderson from Put Yay! Food in the Budget. Um, yeah, if you don't mind holding it, thank you. I don't you. mind, go ahead. Um, hi, my name's Sharon and I'm uh, with Bread and Brick Social Justice Group as well as Put Food in the Budget. And these are uh, these are grassroots groups that are uh, that work on anti-poverty issues and the community that I represent or uh, and, uh, am a part of is uh, people who are on social assistance, who many of whom have um, mobility issues of various types. And so being forced to uh, go to some super box in order to get their mail delivery is going to be a real hardship. And in many cases, the mail that they are getting from are from government uh, uh, offices, where if they miss um, uh, um, getting that particular piece of mail, they yeah. could uh, have serious consequences and be cut off. So your fight Same. is our fight, and this is uh, uh, something that's so important, and, and one of the things that they often tell people on social assistance is, uh, get a job. Well, if there aren't any good jobs, then that's, that's important too. So um, with minimum wage and the attack on, um, uh, on good jobs, decent jobs, which uh, there are, more, there are. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Doing great. Just uh, keep on, that keep on. are. Um, uh, it's absolutely vital and important to this society. What kind of society do we want to live in? One that supports and includes everyone. Uh, so thank you for this opportunity, and uh, we're absolutely with you. And um, and this is ab uh, absolutely a marathon. And. We're going to win. We're going to fight to win. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Sister hey, Sharon. And put food in the budget is a dynamic organization. Their problem is not just federal, it's provincial. They put Premier Win on trial. They had 200 people out to a fabulous event a couple weeks back. And, uh, well, they deserve a lot of credit. They're doing terrific work. So now, I want to... Uh, 
call on a representative from the rank and file education workers. Is is Tim Heffernan here? No? I saw him. Okay, well he Tim Hortons is a popular place to be on a on a windy day like this. So now um, I'm going to call on a representative from the United Jewish People's Order. Would that be Henry? Okay, welcome Henry Lowry from the United Yay! Jewish People's Order. Yay! Oh, I, uh, greetings from the United Jewish People's Order, which is a community organization with its uh, uh, building right up the street here. So we're in this neighborhood, a progressive, secular Jewish organization. Um, around uh, for the past uh, 85 years uh, fighting for social justice and uh, workers rights uh, very happy to uh, see representatives of so many uh, unions here and uh, so many socialist groups all acting together to defend the public service um, I'd like to uh, just offer you uh, one thought um, this uh, struggle on a Canada-wide scale to defend the uh, public postal service is a way of uniting the uh, workers' movement all across Canada, and it can be a focus of resistance to the Harper government. It, it can and should be the focus of resistance. You can expect that in the very near future, the uh, Harper government is going to begin uh, uh, talking about national unity and inciting against Quebec and uh, talk, uh, accusing Quebec of trying to break up Canada. Well, defending the public service across Canada, uniting the workers' movement across Canada, is a way to uh, defend a workers' Canada united from coast to coast. So we bring our greetings and uh, we say solidarity forever. Thank you, Thank you brother uh, Henry Lowy. Is Sister Valerie here yet? Sister Valerie? No. Would someone from Unifor like to say a word to the crowd? We welcome you as part of this demonstration. Would you like to say a word to the crowd? And, uh... Welcome to Unifor, everybody. Everybody came out today. It was a really good turnout. I appreciate all you people being here. And I don't think the people inside this building or who they represent have any, any care of seniors at all. No. Not to mention handicapped people. How are they going to get to all these new boxes that they plan on creating? That's right. Have you seen the snow? If you're ever in a, if you're in an urban area like I am, have you seen the snow that doesn't get removed around those boxes? Can you imagine somebody in a wheelchair or in a walker? Unbelievable what this government is doing. Shame! Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. So I'm going to go to some of the other community groups that are here with us today. Um, who is speaking for the Communist Party of Canada? CPP. Are they here? I think they left. They left? Okay. Um, and they're cool. They're cool. Now, I saw Bruce Allen here, who is the Vice President of the Niagara Region Labor Council. Bruce, are you still here? And your little dog? Did he go? You have to go, okay. And the group Socialist Alternative, they endorse this event. Are they are they here? That's Tim. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to call on now a uh, representative of uh, Youth for Socialist Action, Eve, uh, Evan Angering. So please welcome YSA spokesperson Evan Angering. Hey! Hello. Well, the Harper government likes to uh, harp on being the economic stalwart and giving uh, jobs and hope for the future for young people. What hope for the young people is there now that 3,000 jobs are being cut? 3,000? 8,000. You know, Harper and his ilk and the Ford brothers like to talk about uh, how public service should be run like a business. 
But I ask you, for the people who are laid off at Caterpillar and thousands and countless of other uh, factories and plants and thousands of other workers, do you think they think that public services should be run like a business? No! I don't think so. So we should be uniting now more than ever against these attacks on the public service and everything else. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Evan, from Youth for Socialist Action. So, uh, unless I missed out any of the sponsoring organizations, and I'm sure you'd bring it to my attention if I did, I want to thank you all for being here today. This fight, as everyone has said, this fight is just... Oh, I was John, I forgot you. Okay. There is one more. Um, John Orrit is a professional firefighter. He is the president of the NDP Riding Association in Thornhill, and he's speaking today on behalf of the NDP Socialist Caucus. John Orrit. Sorry. Hi, everybody. Okay, Barry says just up the road here is Thornhill Riding. I'm the president of the federal uh, NDP there, and I'm telling you, Thornhill wants. Postal delivery. Door to door. Door to door postal right delivery. Yeah. I'm also the district chief just down at that station right there for Toronto Fire Services. We're not just having cuts on the federal level, we're having cuts on the municipal level. They've just cut a district chief in this area and they've cut four trucks. And that wasn't just Bob Ford. There's 23 other conservative councillors who voted to cut fire services in Toronto. Shame. 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 All across this country, on every level, fiscal conservatives are cutting services. The provincial liberals are cutting services. They're trying to outsource Ontario service jobs and put them in the uh, private sector. And finally, of course, on the federal level, we have Joe Oliver who spends more time down in Washington trying to get the, the pipeline through rather Shame. than defending jobs here. Shame. Shame. Joe Oliver and Harper are trying to make trade deities, trade uh, agreements with Europe that would cut even more public services and, and uh, would lose more uh, more jobs in the auto industry and lose more control of pharmaceuticals. So the, I'd like to say here that on behalf of the Socialist Caucus of the NDP, we stand behind uh, the postal union workers and we will continue to do so. We call on Olivia Chow, our mayor, our NDP running for mayor of the city to stand up for, for the workers as, the, as she has in Ottawa, and we call on Andrea Horvath, the NDP, to make some statements to defend the Postal Service as well. Yes, so yes. thanks for coming out. Let's continue this fight. Yay! Hello, sisters and brothers. It's been a windy day, but we've been warmed by the, uh, the flames of solidarity, and this campaign is just starting. We're going to continue. Uh, I made, uh, I, I filed a formal request for a meeting with Joe Oliver, and if he agrees to meet me, I want to go into that meeting not alone, but with, a, with some of you. So uh, we got to keep in touch. We got to stand together with the postal workers for a vital public service, unions, community organizations, uh, political organizations. We need to carry this campaign forward. So if there is a meeting, I'll be letting you know, and we may be back here again, or we may be picketing another Tory office in Scarborough or North York or Etobicoke. Well, they're not much in downtown Toronto, thank goodness, but we'll find them wherever they're hiding, and we're going to let them know postal services are here to stay. Door-to-door -door delivery is here to stay. They say cut back. We say fight back. They say cut back. We say fight back. They say cut back. We say fight back.